Hi guys, in my last vlog I did mention that I had a lot of posts coming through and a lot of it's turned up in silly little things. The first thing that's turned up is from Loom Cube and this is a bracket holder for your mobile phone. Now I will do a review for this because it's actually very useful also for GoPro users and GoPro accessories. I also got some new Mavic camera straps. These are the straps that hold your camera around your wrist. Uh, I've seen them before, I've got a red one on this and I've got the white and green one on the Pentax. There again, there's a reason for this, I'll show you that in a moment. And something else, I've also got a new sets of shoelaces. I've seen some shoelaces that I quite like, some sparkly ones, some leopard print ones and some bright green ones to go with the other laces. I'm sort of tending to get a bit of a collection of these now. The idea with the leopard print ones, the leopard print ones will be going on the Tiger Stroke leopard print vans. So hopefully, they're probably going to be a bit long because I've always tend to order what's available and what's available is only 130 centimetre. So maybe a bit long for that, but they will go quite well, I think, on here. They don't look too bad. And anyway, they're my style, so hey, who cares? <laughs> and I've also downstairs I've got a new pair of shoes as well another pair of vans which I shall show you which are gonna get the I think I'm gonna stick the orange lace on those ah, never stop drinking my coffee I have had some nice coffee at work actually the work we've got a Nescafe um, like the Dolce Gusto pod maker there's actually some really really nice flavors in that Now a gadget I've got and a gadget I've been buying bits for is a new gadget for me. I used this on the last video I did. I used this outside the pub when I was doing the Brexit day. This is a Sony A5000 mirrorless camera. So it's a compact camera but with interchangeable lenses and it's a full size APS-C mirrorless sensor. Thing is this is a six year old camera. So I didn't pay any money for it luckily. I've had to buy accessories and things to get it working because it wasn't working. So I bought a couple of batteries and a battery charger. Battery charger is actually quite cool. It's a USB charger, charges two batteries at a time and you get a little indicator to tell you what it's doing. I had to buy a lens cap and a filter and of course I've bought my Mavic camera strap for it. The camera strap, I sort of wanted to go green. They don't do just a bright green on its own but this is a camouflage colours and the other two that I've just shown you, these ones, are also camouflage so you've got like a sand camouflage for a desert camouflage you've got a sort of normal traditional camouflage and then you've got a more sort of blue and green which is sort of more i don't know sea forest maybe forest camouflage um very very useful obviously as always i may one day do a review of these i don't know so the camera is very very useful because it's got a screen that flips around and flips onto you now the panasonic flips sideways and comes out here the sony flips over the top so you're looking directly at it so it's very useful with that. Um, downside to all of these things, which again is, you know, because it's free, I don't mind, is it's not got a microphone socket. Which is really, really useful if you want to film outside. The microphone socket is excellent. This hasn't got one. It's got a decent couple of stereo mics on the top, but for outside, the wind noise, that's just, it just doesn't work. If you were to buy the newer versions, like the equivalent of this today is something like the A6300. The 6300 does have a microphone input does have a much better screen on the back. The problem this one always had, if you read the reviews, it had a very poor screen for viewing what you've done. Because if you look at the screen, you think, mm, that's OK. When you look at it on the computer, it's a hell of a lot better. So the screen is very low quality. It's not a touch screen, but it's very, very useful. The only downside to Sony lenses are the Sony lenses are very, very expensive. Ridiculously expensive compared to, say, other cameras like the Panasonic or Pentax other, other makes. So I won't be buying any lenses for it. I'll just be using it occasionally because I did a little vlogging out with it. Um, might use it in here. I'll try some vlogging in here with it, see what it looks like. And um, yeah, it's just nice and small. I'm going to go out today, take some pictures with it. I haven't been out with the drone for a while, so I'm going to take the drone out, see what this comes out like and wear my new shoes. One of the weird things about the Sony is it doesn't have full 1080. So the Panasonic, this is 1920 by 1080 recording. 
the Sony for some reason is 1440 by 1080 so it's sort of like just like it's HD better than 720 but it's just below the full HD so but it doesn't matter I mean the quality is still very good I think it's still like the look of the quality on it something else I got recently which I haven't shown here yet it's up in the cabinet now is a new dunny I got a bank robber dunny carrying money so anyway we're going to go out today with this camera and we'll have a look, see what it does, and see what the stills look like. So stills look okay that I've taken so far, but most of them have been at night. I haven't done any daytime stills with it. One thing I will say is noise feature for dealing with noise in dark images is absolutely fantastic. Noise reduction is amazing. So the night shots I took that I used in the last vlog were taken at uh, the ISO was 3200, which I could never do on the Panasonic or the Pan Pentax without having lots of noise. On this camera, it's absolutely, it didn't need any adjustment. The pictures came out fantastic. So I'm not quite sure how it sounds next to a very noisy motorway or a very noisy dual carriageway, but we'll see. So the traffic here is a lot lighter. Uh, I say it's quiet, it's still very busy, but it's not rushing past us. But there's a nice sunset across there. So I've come to the river to take some more drone pictures. I've got the moon up behind me, up there. Um, the steady shot on this is also very good. Something else I hadn't really mentioned earlier is that the steady shot feature is fantastic. I think it's really, really good. So it's just the downside is gonna be that microphone. But if it's days like this, there's no wind today. Um, and here it's fairly quiet. So hopefully we should get pretty good quality. Still got to get used to doing this with the um, Joby type style tripod which when I was doing the video on Brexit day I was, there was a lady sitting outside the pub or a couple of ladies sitting outside the pub that were a little bit confused and asked me what it was and one of them said it's a tripod and the other one thought it was some sort of marital aid so it was a little bit confusing for them <laughs> and then they recognised me and I worked on their PC for them. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, and if you like the vlogs, then hit the like button down below. If you want to see more, think about subscribing, hit the notification bell down below, so I can let you know when I upload more. And if you've got any suggestions, comments, or anything you can think I should talk about, or do, or review, or any questions about this equipment, or anything else, drones, or whatever, then let me know, and I'll get back to you in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.